everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hi. <laughs> so what are we going to talk about well, today, it, Dave? It, that was unusual <laughs> for Julie to be lost for words. I wasn't lost for words. <laughs> or she was just listening to the dog snoring. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, as you may be aware on the channel, um, We've actually been and done a what we call back tour up in Scotland. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a long hop from home to Strathclyde Country Park. Stayed there about well, less than 12 hours, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was quick. We, we uh, got there about... You've said all that on the video. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. We about got six o'clock at night, and by the time we'd set up and had our tea, it was dark. Mm. So we then sort of left Strathclyde and had such a lovely drive up until about 10 miles from Inverness, and then it just went all murky and mucky. Mm. But we had a lovely sunny drive all the way up the A9, didn't we? Mm. It was really nice. Yep. So, yeah, and then uh, we went to Culloden Moor Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Mm -hmm. um, stayed nights, there yeah. four nights. Mm. Oh, four nights. Mm. Then we went on to Lossy Mouth, which was yeah. one of the places. Yeah, uh, Silver Sands, which is opposite RAF Lossy Mouth or the back end of RAF Lossy yeah, Mouth just, just under the um, lighthouse mm. yeah, um, yeah, stayed there we, we had a, a good look around um, Lossy Mouth mm. um, we so. ate in a pub that you were in when you were mm -hmm. a snippet of a girl yeah 50 years ago <laughs> 50 it was 50 years ago, <laughs> or 49. So, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, so we went in that pub and uh, <laughs> that, that meal was quite nice for, yeah, was, for, yeah. for what it was. Yeah, it was nice. Um, we friendly. also met uh, and our good friend Dave Benison from uh, Desmond's Donders. Um, Lindsay was actually working that day, having to do a first aid course. Mm. Um, yeah, so it was nice. That, that, that was a good chat with Dave. Uh, it turned out that we both learned to fly gliders at the same place <laughs> at RAF Sealand. Different yeah, small, times, mm, but... Yeah, small world, isn't it? Small world, so... And then we went to Bankery. Yeah. Silver Sands. Silver no, Sands. Silver Bank. Silver Bank. Bank. <laughs> Everything She's was silver. <laughs> well, it was all silver. That was so, nice. Uh, yeah. Um, that that one was a nice sight, wasn't it? Mm. Um, and then where did we go? We went on to uh, Banchory. Yeah. yeah, that was Bankery. Silver Silverbank. What was the other one? We went to Bal Balburnie. Balburnie. Yeah, I knew it began with a B. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Again. Just uh, outside Glenrothes because we would wanted to go to RAF Lucas, didn't we? Yeah. So that was. We we went to Lucas, but the primary primary function oh, was right, to was to, to go to. Anstruther. Anstruther. Um, my dad was stationed at Lucas, mm, and, at but there was an old naval air station at Anstruther, mm. which apparently is still the only five runway site left in the UK operational, but not with the military. Mm. Um, we put a nice so, crab sandwich there, didn't we? Oh, Fresh crab. Oh. Expensive, but it was nice. Expensive, <laughs> but it, yeah, it was, was uh, a real nice um, 
crab sandwich. Yeah, it was not. We were going to eat it looking over St Andrews, mm. uh, but just couldn't get anywhere to park, mm. so we ended up eating it in some obscure <laughs> lay, -by. <laughs> lay by somewhere. But it was still nice. Yeah. So, yeah, um, and then from there, we went to we between Morpeth and went to uh, down via Coldstream mm. from was a nice trip, the south end of nice, uh, Edinburgh. That was a nice road trip, that was. Um, and it was a nice day, um, mm. but just going over the Northumbrian hills. Oh, yeah, it was lovely. It really mm. did, you know, b bring it to light how lovely the countryside yeah, it is. Was, yeah. Both in Scotland and yeah, um, Northumberland. In Northumberland. So it was between Rothbury and Morpeth, weren't we? Yeah. In the middle of nowhere at Nunnykirk. Uh, yeah, a place called Nunnykirk, which regrettably now. has closed. It's <laughs> closed. So at least we've been there. Um, but I'm glad we went went there. More financial than anything. Yeah. Um, but that's the way it cause is. Because they, they had to spend uh, last year. Um, they had some flooding and it took all the roads up on well mm. a lot of the roads up on the site because mm. it's three fields. Yeah. It's and all they had to have it all um, relayed and such. Which cost about fifty-seven thousand, I think they said. Um, and although they have a lot of permanent residents, um, not they, making they, enough they, money. They, so. At the end of the day, Dave, yeah. it's not making them any money. So, but was you know, it, even, even so, we we stayed there and yeah, nice. We really enjoyed it. We went off to Cragside, mm, near Rothbury, yeah. the National Trust house at, uh, mm. in Rothbury, or just outside Rothbury. And we had a nice day there, didn't we? Mm. And uh, it's just a shame that with the Caravan and Motorhome Club not having enough sites in Northumberland, because yeah. the one bit further north. Breamish River, is Breamish it? River. We tried to get on there and they yeah, said, oh, my room was too big. The, yeah. I mean, if... if Near Annick, that one, isn't it? If your motor home's over seven metres... Mm -hmm. And then the other one was Whitley, Whitley Bay, I think. Yeah. Which isn't really Northumberland, is it? It's more t Tyneside, Whitley Bay. Yeah, but there are caravan camping and caravanning club sites up there because we've been to well, a few yeah. haven't we so but yeah the the caravan and motor home club you know well, durham was it yeah but durham nearish, is, but it's not if you want to go to northumberland where we did it if you want to not, walk up in the cheviots and such yeah you know yeah there's nowhere is there really and, and explore the northumbrian countryside yeah it's a shame you know, because it was it's a shame that they, they well we like it up there don't we rothbury way and, and they wouldn't invest anything because the landlord would only give them a seven year lease on on the land anyway that's politics so but that you know anyway but so, so we had uh, fun getting out of there because we, we ended up having a few closed roads, didn't we, as we, mm. we were coming out. <laughs> it was a bit, <coughs> a bit narrow, yeah. wasn't it, up there? And we, and we went uh, south, obviously, <laughs> down the A1, Yeah. Um, and we nipped in to Nairsborough Caravan uh, Club Caravan, site yeah. um, at Nairsborough. Lovely site, wasn't it? Mm. Um, yeah, it was all right, we, we sort of had two nights there, was it? Yeah, just two just, nights. Just yeah. two nights. But we went and... Um, went into Nairsborough, didn't we? Into Nairsborough. Um, oh, that was nice. We had, had a, a lovely coffee and... Oh, we did. I was just thinking about that this morning. That 
Where we pink went to flamingo, that, oh, yeah, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. was it? The pink flamingo tea uh, rooms. Tea rooms, oh, absolutely. It was nice, though, lovely. Wasn't it? Yeah, you had some salad or something, didn't you? I can't remember. Some beetroot salad. Did I? Yeah. Mm. Uh, and I had uh, something. A cheese and so onion healthy. toasty. Yeah, it was nice. And the cakes were massive. We didn't have cake, did we? No, but, but the, oh, coming the out with bits of cake, cake were massive. The cracky that they're bigger than some of the cake she makes. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was nice. We sat outside, didn't we? It was nice. Yeah. So and to Toby enjoyed it. Yeah. We went round there's for castle. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. You know, um, look at the viaduct from the castle and watch the train going over yeah. the viaduct. And yeah, it was nice. Yeah. So. Uh, after, after that we went back to the site, wrapped up, next okay, morning then. we drove back to sunny old Lincoln mm. and uh, the, 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 the dead sparrows. Yeah, yeah not sitting in the back. So what did we think of that trip then? It was long, but... Long? Well as in... The first two days we did nothing oh, yeah. but travel. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, I mean it's a long way up there. Th there's obviously uh, there was a lot more to see around um, Bankery. Um, mm. I mean, we only just scraped the iceberg there, didn't we? Well, we only had three nights there, didn't we? But you know, but yeah, there was a the Silver Bank site. Are you so saying that was well your favourite? Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was, was so well kept. Yeah, that was there was rumours uh, that Julie heard that they were going to do the toilet block next year, but mm. um, let's yeah, see, see what about. happens. But yeah, I think that was if our you, favourite. If you look at the so video, you, uh, you can see how all the hedges and everything yeah. was. Uh, as soon as you pulled up, you said, "Oh yeah, oh, mm. I really like this. Looks really well." It was kept open. Right? Yeah. But you had privacy hedges which were mm. properly cut mm. and not just left straggly and Yeah, you know. it was very impressive. Yeah. yeah so very impressive. That yeah. that that was my I would say favourite. Yeah, I would say that was favourite as well. Lossy Mouth of the uh, at oh. Sands would have been a close contender I if it wasn't it there, for the fact that the toilet the, the toilet and shower facilities that weren't so good were they 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 were that let it down you know, really no locks on the doors and yeah you know just like taking down. five minutes for the water Wars to and, get hot yeah. on on the sinks having said that i would go back there again only for a couple of days i wouldn't go there for like a week or anything no because the, the, oh, you could just walk onto the beach and yeah. it was right under the lighthouse and, yeah, I mean, it, it was nice. We went Lossy down that was castle, nice. didn't we? Yeah. But what was that one? Duffus Castle. Duff, Duffus Castle. I mean, and they uh, got a nice little... Um, tea thing, didn't tea, they? Tea, tea shack there yeah, yeah. Uh, as part of it, there, yeah. yeah. It's funny because when I lived in Lossie, I mean, hated it. Hated it, hated it, hated it, hated it. And then when we've gone back, I really liked it. <laughs> Surprising what 50 the, the, years can do to, the to a place. The funniest <laughs> part of it was, <laughs> she was running up and down this road, Dunbar Road, in Lossing Street, Mouth, yeah. <laughs> looking for the house, or the flat that Flats. they used to live in, because the, you weren't there that long, were you? Yeah, about 18 months. 18 months. Uh, a dad was doing the Jaguar conversion course from um, being a crew chief on the uh, Victors mm. um, to on a squadron on the Jaguars. It uh, and and I, and our paths didn't cross, but I'm sure we were at, there at the same time. When I went up there with Crescent Smash to pick up a Jaguar that had uh, crashed doing doing its uh, training for the air dis air display season, 
but yeah, so uh, we, we came home and. Uh, so what was your worst? Which was the site you didn't like the most? Uh, Colog. Well, there wasn't anywhere that I, I didn't like. No. But for a site that could, for some people, start off their NC500 trip, mm. I thought Culloden Moor could have just been a bit... Mm. I, I don't know about it. I don't know whether I liked it or I didn't like it. I mean, even myself levelling wouldn't level the uh, yeah, motorhome. I mean, it was very, very uneven. Very, it? very. And it, when you looked at it, it was it looked mm. all right. But mm. I mean, I've got extend, long extender legs on my, and it still wouldn't bring mm. it up enough at the front. Um, but, yeah, it, it was all right if you wanted to. It was. Good position if you wanted to go to the battlefield, especially yeah. if you didn't have any transport because you could actually walk, couldn't you? Yeah. Um, probably would have been all right just having a couple of days there, really. But yeah, that was all right. The one I wasn't so keen on was um, Balburnie, but I think that was because of where we were pitched. Julie's got this thing. Well, I don't like to be that when one. We, when we were in Holland, oh. that site that we stayed in, um, that was in the middle of a town, wasn't it? Oh, well, that didn't bother me. Well, you didn't what like the houses that were overlooking it. You what told any houses overlooking that? There was. was there? Well, not as bad as Balburnie. People in flats. Well, they were, they, they were flats at, right, right behind. Yeah. Might as well pull the motor home up over there. So, but yeah, I didn't like that. As as a site, um, you're better off having a grass pitch there, aren't you? I think the grass yeah, pitch that, is that's looked, more, looked better. Yeah, that's more open and gets yeah, a bit I more think, sunshine. Yeah, I think. Yeah, so but, I, um, I was a bit mm, like a lot of things. Um, the with the what, what would you, um, the soft the, the ground was still oh, right, soft yeah, yeah. Um, but the site itself was yeah yeah was nice I, yeah I just it was just the way where our pitch was really I didn't didn't like it down that bit to be honest and the one I'd go back to but would be we weren't under freaking trees <laughs> The one I would go back to would be uh, Silverbank, definitely. Definitely in Bankery. There's a lot to do around there, isn't there? Yeah. I mean, we, we went up to... Um, oh, what, what's Balleter. that? Balleter. Um, yeah, we'd like to go back there to go to Balmoral, really. Or the, the, the way that station has been redone at Balleter. Mm. Mm, it's nice. Absolutely, and it had burnt down in mm. the 2000s. Yeah, and it's yeah, it all been nice. redone. It's got yeah, it a, nice a, an indoor calf mm. on what it was the um, mm. platform. Yeah, platform. Yeah, yeah that's so nice. yeah, I'd definitely go back to with, Silver with Bank. A, I think a coach in there, for a royal coach. So yeah, but yeah, we'd go back to Scotland, <coughs> wouldn't we? Yeah. 50 years since we've been but you know. so <laughs> what you'll get on this is our bits going down to uh, Knaresborough um, quick look around the castle and the tea room I bought a huge jar of pickles didn't I from that <laughs> little shop <laughs> and some um, beetroot chutney oh yeah <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> oh, you putting this bit on before the bit of Nairs, brother? Well, like either before or or the, the oh. end. Put that first, and then the end bit. So they might have watched it. So yeah. <laughs> so. Anyway, that was the tour. Yeah. So. so it was good. Yeah, we enjoyed it, didn't we? 
So, so now I don't have to go chasing around any more RAF stations. Now I'll have to find, uh, we'll have to go <laughs> decide where we're going with different criteria next time, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I did say, do you want to visit all the stations you were stationed at? And you said no. Right. Well, I think we've been to most of them anyway. There's, uh... Don't we? There's probably one that I would like to go back to, which was my first station, which w w was RAF Bista. Oh. Because where that is now, or was, is now the heritage site. Oh, yeah. Um, and what was the um, accommodation site is now all flats, so the barrack Where's blocks... Where's the outlet centre then? Was there an outlet oh, that, village Yeah, that, that's up where the army bit was, because oh. RAF Bristol was out on the Buckingham Road, oh. so and the army was f oh. well, good four or five miles away. Oh. In fact, RAF Upper Hayford, where the Americans were, was... Uh, Anyway, they are going off, the, off anyway. the track there. So, so I hope you enjoyed the yeah. trip of Scotland. We enjoyed it, didn't we? Yeah. We'll definitely go back. We we definitely did. But there's um, lots of other places to go as well. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed our little hop into the land of kilts and <laughs> bagpipes. <laughs> bagpipes. And haggis. Oh yeah. <laughs> Toby found a sign to yeah. pee on that said, Beware of Haggis. Yeah, that was at Cullen. <laughs> so, yeah, but that, quickly on that, that Cullen back battlefield site, which is the National Trust for Scotland. Yeah. That was quite a good walk round, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was a good Because that's out. when Toby had his little stroller come out the boot of the car. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, mm. that's well worth a, a, a visit, that, yeah. the, um, yeah, the battlefield. battlefield at Culloden, mm. um, and there is a lot more around there, obviously, like Loch Ness, Loch Ness and yeah. um, the Black, Black Isle, Isle. Yeah. We, we did go over the Black Isle, mm. um, we did. On the recommendation of a friend to look at the um, dolphins. dolphins, but I think them. it was a bit too late yeah. in in the season to see them. So anyway, yeah. Wrap up. So hope you're all well. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to your festive season. Um, today is the nineteenth of November. Mm -hmm. 2024, there will be um, a couple more, or maybe I might condense it down into one. So, uh, anyway. video, video to come. So, yeah. See you later. Okie dokie. Bye. Bye.